else. But what happens in the event that it never comes and you're just adding lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower until it never bounces again? This doesn't have to bounce. It could just continue to slowly. Dude, this could gap down $4 tomorrow. You know, you never know. Exactly. They could be prepping an offering right now and they're going to price it at seven bucks. And then all of a sudden it goes boom down 50%. And, and, here, and here's the best part, dude. Here's the best part. This is what we're trying to invoke in you guys and it, and it just drill in your heads is it's not about catching the move from four to 20 like a fucking furu will tell you or yep. 17 to, to, to four. There are first bounces you can do all the way up in this while shorts wait patiently. There is a death line play in here. There is a first red day play in here. There's a short pops, in, you know, until it doesn't work play in here. There's there, like, dude, we have so many base hits and doubles and triples. Don't go for the home run. Don't go for the 19 to 12. You can be that type of trader. You can. But we're yep. showing you how to do simple, stress-free base hits every single day to capture squeezes like this on the front side as a long bias trader. And then as a short bias trader, capture a dollar, recycle out, capture another 50 cents, recycle out, capture another dollar. It's not that you have to be a winner, a zero or a hero. We are teaching you the optimal times to go long and short every single day. 100%. And, you know, I, I actually said this recently, and I was actually kind of proud of this quote, Joe. I was like, damn, you know, that one deserves to be framed. But, <laughs> dude, a contrarian, I have those moments mindset, like, a contrarian hell, mindset is where you stop out a lot. If you are the guy that is trying to short this all the way because, oh, it's a crap company. The fundamentals are crap. I don't give a shit that the trend is up. I'm going to fight trend. You're dead. You're going to stop out five times on this run up. And I know traders who did, yet they hide their losses because they're dumb fucks, uh, aka the furus. But here's the thing. You see what I'm saying? If you're a long bias trader trying to capture the best dip, you may get stopped out over and over again. So a contrarian mindset stops out a lot. Guys, ride trend, man. We keep it simple at MIC. We tell you the longs. We tell you shorts to be safe. We tell you when a good strategy is to go long or short. And then we tell you how risky you're being on, depending on what day you're trading, long or short. And if you are doing the contrarian mindset, dude, trend is your friend, man. Yep. It's and the same thing that. goes in the trend. reverse. Bro, the what? trend is still backside broken. I, want, I don't want a long on this. I want it to bounce to 15 or 16 in the coming days for a short, for a downward continuation. Yep. And the move you could wait for if you're a long and you're trying to get ready for that backside bounce, you wait for the first green day. The first, exactly. Oh, dude, I was, that was the next. talked about that strategy awesome. as well. That is like my favorite long strategy. Nailed it. Is first green days. First green days, first red days, you couple those two things together and that's all you need in your trading. Like that's all you need in your arsenal. That's all you need. You don't need anything else. Just like Val talks about first bounce, first resistance. First bounce is the, like the OG, it's the original. First resistance is the brother to the first bounce. First red day, that's the OG pattern. First green day is the brother to the first red day. They go hand in hand. There's a long side and there's a short side. But does it occur at the same time? No. One has to happen before the other. Yes. Oh, what's CIDM doing? New highs? Oh, is it? I, I, haven't I don't, I don't even know what CIDM is. Oh, my is. God. Thank God I was giving this webinar today. I may have stopped. Dude, <laughs> the volume is so nasty. What's the daily chart on this? Oh, dude. The, oh, my oh, God. Third. This is, dude, third. lubing this up for tomorrow and the next day. Heard. Longs just, just lube it right up. What is up with these 300% movers? You know what it is? Dude, I'm telling you, Joe, there's no other explanation than all these Robin Hood guys. Dude, everyone's stuck at home just buying. They have no idea what they're buying. Oh, my what's God. The, news on this? The crash? Here's the problem with this is that when these runners finally stop, the drought of plays is going to be so dry yeah. It's going to suck ass. Yeah, so take advantage now. There's no better time Dude, to invest. Once the hype is gone in all of these little in all these little turd companies, these Robin Hood chasers, it Dude, it oh my god, it is just going to be dead. It is going to be a decrepit market. 
Yeah, that is the sad part is because everybody who's new, man, you know, these Robin Hood guys that come in, they got a little money to their name, they're bored at home, they're done with Pornhub, and now they have time to trade. Dude, they're buying here thinking that this is the next Apple computer, man. I mean, because, dude, if you're brand new and you're like, holy shit, this stock went from 61 cents to 249, it's going to be at eight by the end of the day, and by the end of the week, it's going to be at 24. You don't, you just, you're delusional. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. This is, dude, this is never going to be the next Apple. No, I'd stake my life on it. Never. It's never. never. I mean, look at this daily chart. There's yeah. a reason why this is. <laughs> Josh no has reason. already shorted this before. He's got red arrows already on the chart. Look at you. <laughs> look at that. Right there. You've I think I smoked it this day before. probably years ago or whenever that was. Yeah. You've the already point done is, that back man, in 2017. Is, dude, is guys like, again, <laughs> you can get lucky. You can get lucky all day. Shit, yeah. when I was new, I got lucky all the time. I didn't have a process. I didn't have a repeatable pattern. I didn't have a repeatable edge, a strategy that I can count on time and time again, no matter what, the, what, what happened in the market. Right now, the only thing that would interest me in a short with this, because I have training, is if this did a waterfall candle back to 160, guess what? I'd hit a pop. And I'd be careful because it still would be kind of front side into tomorrow. Or I wait for tomorrow and wait for a major gap down and then it turns into a low hanger or option number three, I wait for this fucker to jam up two days, screw, long, uh, screw shorts like it did on NNDM, and then catch that red day move, baby. Or, yeah. Sorry, not NNDM. What was that major one? Uh, ACB. Yeah, ACB. ACB. Three options I'm waiting for. Waterfall during day one, day two gap down low hanger, or give me a multi-day runner where all the shorts are bent, and then once all that happens, the longs got to come out of the balloon. The air Dude. will pop. The pop. It'll pop. Tomorrow, I would ideally like to see ACB die again under yep. 12 because then when we finally get a bounce, if we do get a bounce, it's just going to make it such an even better odds pattern. Well, because what Joe's saying, guys, is the more longs that are stuck. So if this really did, dude, gap down to like freaking nine, there's that much more long stuck that any bounce is just almost for sure going to get sold off because people are so unbelievably stuck. Yep. Yep. All right. So here you go. How much wiggle room should you give a line? The secret question. The secret question. Well, again, Joe, you mind if I take this one? Go ahead, buddy. I like backside personally. So I, t I talked about this in the beginning of the webinar, but I want to talk about it again. What my personal strategy tells me and my personal edge is I'm waiting for backside or at least an indicator that it might be backside every single day. So if this is what I'm waiting for, the death candle on SFET, which I hit earlier, oh shit, I should have saved that chart for this, but I hit right here. And then I think I added down here. But the point is, is now I can set a line and give it defined risk. I will scale up to this point with a high of day stop out guaranteed. Why? Because it is guaranteed that this is all I'm going to scale. I don't want to get caught in front side if SVET were to jam to the moon. Oh, fun was a great example. So this would be the alternative, guys. On fun, I don't want to be scaling into this. So when you say give enough room for a line, it depends on what kind of trader you are. If you want to be a really safe trader and wait for backside like I do, wait for this tank, maybe start scaling the tops and give to high a day. What in the hell is that? Yeah, I would, yeah, dude, I Joe's, Joe's been a big He hasn't seen this pile of shit. Wow. Look at this. Look at Joe. that gap down. Though. Yeah, I know, dude. It's insane. Oh, man. That's, that's insane, right? Look, look, uh, what's the daily chart look like on this? Oh, what a coincidence. Poo poo. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> wow, this looks that's like the next Apple heard. stock. Oh, wait. Oh my Here, God. Here's, here's what the Robin Hooders are thinking. And guys, we're not making fun of everybody. We're just obviously taking advantage of a stupid decision. But here's what the Robin Hooders are thinking. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. A stock's up pre-market. Oh shit. It's strong. Breakout. Okay. I got to get in this. I got it. Oh wait. It's not the next Apple computers. Bail, jump, ship, run, 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 run. <laughs> Oh this, my goodness. Dude, th this is just trading psychology in a nutshell, guys. So unfortunately, Oh, look at the Woody Meister coming in there. <laughs> nice, brother. Wow. Oh, shorted right nice. there. Nice. Cool. Woody, Woody shorted this on front side and was shitting his pants. Then he was like, oh, okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Did you go through a couple trading diapers there, Woody? I know I have in the, future, in the past. <laughs> yeah, that's the point, guys. There is also 
the level of, look, we've got a strategy called the 30% rule. Um, I wouldn't get too into it, but if you do short front side like Woody did, Woody throws way more than 500 shares. That's a starter for him, if not even, like way less than a starter. So what he was doing was he was hitting an overextended move into a whole dollar line. That's not a terrible strategy if you put on a feeler into resistance line. So now you can never predict that it'll just gap down like it did. And, and that's kind of a lucky move that you literally top take and then just get a fucking fat gap down. But the point is is this is also identifiable of 50%, a strategy. 50% in like 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, Woody was probably like, why didn't I have 5,000 on? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Make 50% on your money in 12 minutes. Yeah, welcome welcome to small cap trash. God, I love uh, it. Man. The point, the point is, man, is we have moves for the guys who want to squeeze the shorts on the upside like NNDM day one. Let's take a look at day one, Joe. So this was day one on NNDM. At what point during this run did you think this was a short? Now, I will give it to the guys who were testing outer lines pre-market. If you shorted near outer lines at 145, if you didn't stop out on this candle, well, you're not following your process, would have only lost a couple bucks. But dude, if you are fighting this just because you want to, you are breaking process. This is a long all the way. Once this broke, showed strength, showed the demand, you can now long it on dips above VWAP until it doesn't work or use the first bounce. Then you wait for E and only if you do short something front side this, you wait for major candles like yesterday. Oh God, Joe, maybe I can show it, dude. If I can find it. Hold on. I shorted this yesterday, bro. And it was like, the most i was so proud of it just because i had the most patience i think i've ever had in my entire life <laughs> i have to find it dude shit i have to find it uh where are you i think i got dude, my the only thing i around. liked about nndm was that it was at a resistance line at 10:30 <laughs> and all I liked was the short back to VWAP. And that was it. After that point, moving on. That's what I did. I think that's what I did. Hold on. Let me see. I can't remember exactly. I, I caught like a death candle and I, all I wanted was the little like first resistance bounce kind of thing. Because dude, yeah. if it's front side of a move, it requires front side covers. You got to be, dude, look at this. This was the only trade I placed all yeah. day. How sick, dude. I waited. I just knew, bro. I knew. Then I waited for this kind of like death candle stuff. Again, I chased a little bit because I got over eager once a death candle. But once it yeah. did, I was going to give to the top of this death candle. So about 335. Dude, caught a nice move, but I had the patience to wait for it. And then I didn't get caught up in this shit because I knew it could do that. Yep. That's process every day, man. You're waiting for a very specific identifiable thing that allows you to make money and then you move the fuck on. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Does anybody, yeah. Again, guys, questions. Does any, anybody have questions? So Tim will get, or TJM will get to that. Okay. Nothing on the YouTube. So go ahead. Okay. Um, Hey guys, what are my options for a demo simulator to back test? I don't have access to think or swim because of location. And I was, Oh dude, DOS is not 200 bucks a month, bro. It's a, it's a hundy. I think. Uh, also, you don't need DOS. You can paper trade on Trade Zero. Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. The only reason why I say DOS is um, a million years ago, man. I used to use this, and it was wonderful. I think you do real time simulator. I helped a member out with this the other day. Oh, hundred bucks a month. You don't need level two. Just yep. learn the lines to start on a simulator. Yeah, but if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to pay a hundred bucks a month, then then just go with. Uh, to go at trade zero and trade on that platform, even though I think that that is like $59 a month. Dude, so, look at Val, you freaking freak. I love it. Val just hit a big seller at 250 at the whole and half dollar mark, guys. So Val calculated this level based on the daily lines, a whole and half dollar mark. And what he did is I'm sure he probably put on a feeler, but dude, look at this. Nice job, Val. Amazing. Yeah. 250. Just remember, Val. Just remember, there's only 30 minutes until the close. Now so there's 30 minutes for the love of God. The zone you better right cover. now, but don't forget the market's closing soon. <laughs> How many times did me and Bao and Alex text each other? We're short in the last 30 minutes. We're like, oh shit, I wasn't looking at the clock. We better cover, cover, cover. Yep. It's never a good time to um at least 
if you're going to shorten the last half hour, guys, it better be a scalp. It's never a good time to hold and just wish. It's never a good time to hold. It's a, it's a quick trade. But, dude, yeah. that's sick. Nice, pal. Can you tell for death line strategy in case uh, – okay, I can't even read that. I'm going to try to interpret what that says. Hang on. Can you tell for in case of using moving at should they cross below? Okay. So the death line strategy, guys, for those on watching this, uh, just so you know, there is no use of moving averages in that strategy for everybody, for anybody that's asking. So um, that, yeah, there's no, there's no uh, moving averages that have to do with that strategy. And we don't even recommend that in any way, shape or fashion. Uh, another question is RSI Bollinger Bands, dude. Learn yeah. how to trade and come to MIC, man. Dude, that stuff does not work in small caps. In big caps, there is edge there, but it's you have to know when to apply it and when to not apply it. And but small caps, nah, nah, bro. There's no, there's no use in it. Yeah, just there's no on. rhyme or reason why these things move. It just moves on emotion and momentum. And so, and it moves with algos too. And an algo can hold it as long as they want to. That's it, man. That's it. Come and learn the lines. Come and learn why Bao would hit at 250 with a stop at 260. It's very identifiable, man. Yep. It, this is, um, you have to predefine your risk. You guys always stop trading by 1030? 90 no, not at all. 90% of us do. 90% of us stop, but... A lot of, uh, I mean, and the rest probably continue on, but the most activity that you're going to see happens during pre-market and at the open for about the first hour. And then after that, it, it kind of, it obviously slows down with the market. Yep. So it's guys, it's not that we're done trading by 1030. It's that shorts have the edge in the first hour. What happens? And you can draw a line. I'm not kidding. Every single day you can do this on your chart. Uh, let me move this. You can go like this. 10.30, boom, right about there. You can go, okay, I am done shorting. I will come back at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a reversal play around this time uh, is usually a good time for an end-of-day fade. Obviously, maybe not a stock that's literally making new highs into this time, but this is the time where longs have the time to come in and make money. So while shorts can bank in the morning, do longs have a huge opportunity midday while shorts can come back later if the criteria is there and hit for a nice late day move. And then in the last half an hour, you just don't want to hold short. So if you do very quick scalp, you want to be out and then rinse repeat tomorrow. So it's not that we're done trading by 1030, man. It's just that, look, it is favorable based on retail, based on algos, based on institutional ownership, based on people going to work, based on who's in front of the screens, that shorts have a huge edge in the first, half, first hour of small caps. And into the first hour, going in the second, longs have a huge edge. Then going back into reversal time, shorts get the edge again. And then if a stock is, you know, this strong into the close, dude, this could run up after hours and gap up the next day. So the whole point is, again, man, just, just, yeah. I think, I think we've explained it pretty good. This had float rotation. This was like, I think a smaller float, right? I wasn't paying too much attention to this one. It was over VWAP. It's, you know, the dips are being held up. If you take a short like Bao did, he's doing what his process entails and he's getting a nice scalp out of it. Simple as that. He's not going to hold this all day. Bao's not planning to hold this overnight. This is a front side short, which requires front side covers. And he yeah. only has 3K. If Bao's full size is around 10,000 on a stock like this, Bao just caught a nice scalp with 3K, no stress. That's the whole point, guys. You see that? He just did a live trade for you guys, and I'll bet he's going to show some covers down here. <laughs> let's wait for it. I'm going to say, let's wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Where are you at, Bao? Let's oh, see this print, baby. 217. Guarantee you there's a 217 cover coming. Oh, Garen fucking On the prints, there's going to be a 17 and an 18. Uh, and there's probably, I'm going to assume, a 213 in there. So my money is 213, 218, 217. Oh, dude, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to say we get an 11 in there. <laughs> there there's a chance, yes. But see how that got bought up, guys, because this is front side. And Bao knows that. Oh, wait, where are we go? Where are oh. we? Man, we were all wrong. Oh, 23. Okay, Bao got a 23. That's still pretty good. He still got the drop. I thought Bao was yep. going to throw a fucking 11 in there. <laughs> Not
Nice job, Al. That was sick, dude. That was sick. So as you guys can see, man, this is not some hocus pocus. This is not magic. This is not freaking bullshit, you know, pump alerts or anything. Dude, this is true trading, man. Bao just did exactly what his process entails, man. How sick is that? And now it's getting bought up. He's out because he knows what time it is. And dude, we hope this goes to 350 tomorrow and gaps up. So we have more plays and more backside. Small yeah. size, but that is nice money. That's dude, that's nice money, man. You do that every day, once a day, man. You can replace your normal job. In case of scalping for 10 cents, is there room for three entries or is just one entry what I should focus on? Uh, well, you know, 10 cents, man. You, good luck having a career in trading if you're only risking 10 cents. I don't care if you use 10 shares. Give yourself more room than 10 cents. On this specific strategy, now this is very specific. I'm talking as more of a general basis. This specific, it's pretty much just one or two entries like 49 and 252, but on something like a first red day or something like that, don't give yourself 10 cents. This is very front side and bound knew exactly what he was risking here, which is pretty much a new high of day or the 260 line. But dude, 10 cents um, usually is not what you want to risk on like a backside move or a first red day or something like that. Make sense? Yep. But this was a perfect move because it this late in the day and for what he was risking on this front side move, that's all you want is 10 cents because you'll know if you're wrong or right. So Bao played that perfectly. Yeah, 7.5K 7 7 capital to make what? 20%? Sick. 30 cents from the top to bottom covers. And you can repeat this strategy. We'll teach you how, man. We'll teach you how. What else is still up? Man, low hanger for tomorrow. SFET, can't wait. Coming out our lines. Can't wait. NNDM, that'll be fun. I don't think this will pop, though, because that's an offering. Um, fun, dude, total low hanger. And Boxel, this is going to be fun, dude. I think we even have CCL as well. Uh, CCCL. Yep. Oh, yeah, dude. We got a ton of low hangers tomorrow. I can't wait. And nice. I think DVAX, is that still in play? Oh, DVAX, what? <laughs> DVAX. Leds, I didn't look at that one time today. Oh, shit, I missed that entirely. I didn't even see it one time. <laughs> there you go, Vic. I know. Nice late day fade there. Tomorrow's a new day, guys. Bro, yeah, this is I know is that setup we talked about in the last webinar. Pre no, that was fader. I wanted to get some live trading in to keep the tradition alive, bro. He, he did just that, man. I love it. So come next week to see some live trading. Hell yeah. Hey, Joe, really quick, dude, before we let everybody go, uh, do you want to just give a quick rundown, man, of the new DVD a little bit, just, just for some people who aren't familiar when it's coming out, who's going to get access, who has access now kind of thing? So the new course is going to be uh, released this month. Um, my anticipation is uh, it was going to happen early this month, and then we had some delays on the uh, coding side and also – just making sure we get all the landing pages right. And we just want to make sure that everything is spot on before we jump into it. So it should be going live this month for annual and lifetime members. Lifetime members currently have access to the course and they have been watching it and there's been nothing but great feedback. It is seven hours and 45 minutes long now takes you from ground zero, knowing nothing about the stock market to knowing exactly what you need to focus on and only focus on without overwhelming you while teaching you a repeatable process to keep you consistent and self-sufficient in the market without needing help from anyone else. And <clears throat> after the point of when it becomes available for annuals, Annuals that currently have a subscription are going to get free access to that. And then after a month or so, the uh, course will only be for sale individually. So there will be a lot of upgrades uh, opportunities available over the next 30 days. And so definitely take advantage of that. Reach out to Tosh, figure out what your options are. That way that you can get access to the course and get access to the upgrades. Um, 
and uh, there's probably going to be um, a lot of good opportunities to get in there at a discounted rate. Yeah, man. I, like I said, like as Joe just said, guys, if you have any questions about signing up, um, we do not offer free trials. As you can see, this is why we do these webinars. We believe in our product. Look at our testimonials page. Um, I, I, I have never seen anybody not like MIC. People come in and they love it. Um, so if you have any questions and you want to sign up, guys, or you want to upgrade and get access to anything, text me at 213 213- Four five eight five nine nine seven. Also, you can email me at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Um, again, I see every PM. I see every email, social media post. If you guys need help, this is my direct line. Uh, we're here to help you, man, 24-7. We have so much opportunity right now. There's no better time to invest in the markets just because, or invest in your career, man. Invest in your trading because, dude, if you're stuck at home, use this opportunity to learn. And I want to make something clear to the guys that, you know, Look, if someone would have told me this um, when I was first starting out, because I was really kind of death grip on my money, I didn't have a lot to start out, man. I only had like $7,500 seven years ago. And I just remember if someone would have explained it to me correctly um, without sounding like a salesman or anything. But dude, honestly, if you have only like 2000 to your name, because I get this text three or four, five times a day and they're like, Tosh, I don't want to join MIC yet. And I want to try to trade on my own because then I won't even have money to trade if I join the annual or something. I'm like, bro, do you have any idea how much better your money is, is, is with like people teaching you or a community or in things that can make you money for the rest of your life than you trying to trade 2000 on your own in a market that's insane? I'm like, dude, invest in your education. I hope it's with us. If it's not, Dude, education is the key, man. If you have $2,000 to your name and you're like, okay, in one hand, I can get an MIC annual. In the other hand, I can trade my own account and bleed it to zero, which is almost a fucking certainty. Dude, what are you going to pick? What you learn in a year of MIC, you can apply for the rest of your life. Dude, money comes and goes. You know, it's like, it's like those guys that say like, what was it? I think, uh, I think actually, um, Jackie Chan has a famous saying of like, when you're young, you know, educate yourself and travel because you know, money comes and goes, but dude, that stuff, you got it. You got to get that stuff early on. So, you know, now is about building in your education, man. If you have a small account, it's not about maximizing that small account, dude. You can literally invest in your education monthly, annual, whatever you want. Um, and practice on a simulator first, guys. It's not about making money tomorrow. It's about learning the lines. It's about mastering the setup on your simulator so that when you work your nuts off at your factory job or whatever, until you have the money to fund a trading account, maybe it's three months later, maybe it's six months later, dude, you're going to know how to fucking trade. You are going to be well-versed in how to trade. And that's the key, man. Or you're just throwing money away in trial and error that we had to learn over a decade to create MIC to help you guys now because we did do a fucking decade of trial and error ourselves. So we just yeah. don't want you guys to lose your $2,000 account, establish all these bad habits, throw it away in the toilet, light it on fire yourself trying to figure this game out, which is too hard to figure out alone. And then be like, oh man, I could have got a membership at MIC, which would have basically funded the rest of your life if you learn our strategies because you would have learned a language. So yeah. I'm glad that's recorded, man. I hope people listen to that. I just, dude, again, it's not even if you go with MIC. Obviously, we're the best choice, but if you guys just need to invest in your education, man. So if you have any questions, please reach out to my line. Again, 213-458-5997. Um, and I'm going to help you out, man. I'm going to get you started. Invest in your education, guys. Look what Bowser said. In education is the key. Save up to trade once you learn, dude. You can always practice on a perfect, dude, $100 a month, you can get a DOS simulator that literally replicates everything we do in its real time. But to trade with no education is pure gambling. You might as well go to the roulette table and then, um, and then you know, the first month should not be trading real money. Or, or, or at least if you do, not of any significant size. Maybe 100 shares, maybe 50, maybe 10 shares just to get the feelings of emotion. And then, uh, and then learn, get comfortable by paper trading, then start live trading with tiny size and then increase size as you get more consistent. And I always say personally, and I know Joe, um, I think you agree with this. Dude, when you're consistent for two weeks and you're like, Tosh, should I size up? Yeah. But go 10% so it's not noticeable. Maybe go 20% absolute maximum. If you're using 1,000 shares and for two weeks you can't miss, 
go 1100, then go 1200, then go third, go slowly. If you double size overnight, you're dead. You did yeah. not learn or back test how to use 2000 shares. You were using a thousand. You're going to double the numbers, both gains and losses. It's going to be too volatile for you. So paper trade, learn the strategies, eliminate your ego, invest in your education. We'll help you out as best we can. Um, you know, I, we, we're not, we're not running any public promotions right now, but Val, what do you think? Should we, should we do our Wednesday thing? Are we, are we open to maybe people that stay to the end of this two hour webinar? Sometimes we like to hook you guys up, dude. It's two hours of investing in your time, which we appreciate. Maybe, maybe Val has like an idea of where we can discount the annual, maybe the lifetime. I'll talk to him and then text my number and then we will figure something out for you. We are trying to get you guys to learn the process the right way. I don't care if you're there's using a, 10 shares. I don't care if you're using 100 grand. Yep. There's a last question here. I've been with MIC for two months and I'm still looking for a broker. Can you help me? What? 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 Who, who is it? Been with MIC for two months and still looking for a broker. Can well, you who, help who, me? Who, who posted the question? Is it on YouTube Live? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Bro, so tell, if, who's he in chat? But I don't know. I have no we, idea. Bro, we, okay, okay. For, if that's not a troll and that's a legitimate question, guys, we give this webinar every single week on who to contact, how to contact, yep. and what to save. Also, and there's even a broker need, channel. If you need help, guys, PM us. Don't be scared. Yeah, and if, if you're, you're in an MIC for two weeks or two months and you're like, I still haven't signed up for a broker, bro, that's on you. That's yep. a, <laughs> we'll show, I'll show you today. Dude, there's Cobra, there's Venom. There's Trade Zero, International Check your and US. There's E Trade. There's TD Ameritrade. There is uh, fucking Schwab. There is, uh, dude, there's so many brokers out there. First off, we choose Cobra and Venom not only because we're affiliated, but because we affiliate ourselves with the best out there. They are the best. And so those are the people we choose to go with is Cobra and Venom. We have plans for both of those. If you are not comfortable with those, your next option is probably gonna be E-Trade or Trade Zero. If you can't get Cobra because you're Canadian, your next option is probably Trade Zero or E-Trade. Guys, look, look guys, look what Bao just said. You I, have to help yourself some, man. If you wanna learn, yeah. you have to put in work, bro. If you truly have been in MIC for two months and you're still lost, Dude, you got to watch the webinars. You got to reach out to my PMs. You got to hit all of us up. We're going to help you, man. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm, but we cannot spoon feed like a baby. You have to watch some videos. I'll never discourage a question because I want people to ask it, but beware that, you know, sometimes the question is going to seem like I, you should have been doing it all along. And I, dude, it's just common sense. It's common yes. sense. And it, it's not like signing up with these brokers is going to cost you oodles and gobs of money. You don't even, it doesn't, it freaking doesn't cost you anything to open an account. It costs you nothing to open an account. Now to get platform access. Yeah. Okay. It could cost you some money to get some data could cost you some money, but to get a broker free, free, no charge. For Guys, and Google does exist if it's a question like, hey, how yeah. can I get a broker for trading? <laughs> um, uh, but guys. Just real quick, you guys don't mention TradeStation. Thoughts on that? Reason why I don't mention TradeStation is because their whole free commission platform is horseshit. It is not truly free. Um, and their customer service sucks. I'm just going to be real with that because that was my experience with TradeStation. Yeah, I've never I experienced them in there, any. Yeah. And it was the, the customer service I received was horrible. And then, in order for me to transfer my positions that I had from them, they charged me $150 to transfer oh my, my God. positions. So I paid for platform. I paid commissions because I didn't do it their own fancy fucking way to get zero commissions. And then they charged me to transfer my money out, or I'm sorry, they transferred, they charged me to transfer my positions. I had positions, which is normal, okay? But $150 to do that is not normal, all right? That is way too much. E-Trade charges 75, okay? So it's like half of that. 
And dude, they just clobber you at every single turn. They are not truly free. Okay? Right, right. They are not free. Hidden I would fees, not use fees. them ever again because of the experience I had. And I will never recommend them. And I will publicly say it that I do not recommend them. <laughs> I have no experience with them either way. I'm not emotional like Joe is, but Bro, you heard it God. from Joe. Bro, they cost me like 300 bucks, just like pointless 300 bucks. Just dude. to move, just to move positions. Dude, for real. Oh, that like sucks. In, in platform, in fees and everything else, like 300 bucks. Oh my God. So guys, um, to, so to recap, there this, is no dumb question except for a lazy question. I had a question. It, Bao gets questions weekly. I get these too. Fuck. What's your website? Seriously, if you cannot find our website, please do not trade. Just go to unemployment, LOL. Perhaps, perhaps check you <laughs> out. What's the on. website for my investing club? Dude, come on. Seriously, we get this once, probably once every week or two. Dude, I get them too. Somebody would be like, oh, nice. Nice little sit and drop at the end for tomorrow. He goes, <laughs> he goes, then I get asked, how do you short? Can you tell me what you look for? I'm like, have you watched any videos? They're like, no, dude, we've got like, even this orientation video, we just gave like three of the best strategies for shorting possible. Don't just ask without no, like you can't, we can't answer how to short in one question, like not one sentence. Then they say they are stuck in a tree. Please help guys. I will get a PM. Someone will join MIC and be like, I've got 4,000 shares in BABA, but I'm down seven shares on my position. What do I do? I'm like, how the fuck do I know, dude? This isn't a Warren Buffett investing club. We're day traders, man. You're down $7 on your position. You probably should have cut it $6 ago. Dude, for real. Dude, we're not fortune tellers, bro. We're not almighty. We are day traders who nail and bail every day and make money with a very, very repeatable process. Do we know what to do when you're down $3 on Boeing, $4 on Baba, and $5 on space? No, dude. Don't ask that. Legally, I'm not going to give you advice because I you. legally I can give you advice on what you, if you should Legally, sell. I can't even tell you what you should do with those positions because I can help educate you on how to trade, but dude, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to trade, when to trade, what risk to use. Yeah, that, yeah. that is your own thing. Dude, that's like, that's like saying, should I go walk my dog? He hasn't shit in eight hours. Well, I don't right. fucking know, dude. Let him shit on the I floor. Don't fucking go know. walk him. What the fuck? What's your dog's bowel movement process? How often does it happen? Fuck. I yeah, dude. Risk management. Care. Save your carpets. Suck. They suck. Guys, we love to help you. I mean, dude, we're not calling out anybody. We really love to help. And we go above and beyond 24 seven to make sure your questions are answered. But you have to put in some work, man. We do 80% for you. It's like, it's like, dude, have you ever seen the movie Hitch where he's giving that explanation to Kevin James and Will Smith is like, all right, this is how you kiss a girl. On, after the first date, he's like, you go in 90 and she comes in 10. Bro, yes. you got to you got to put your head forward. We did the 90 part, but you got to kiss us with the 10%, man. You got to watch some videos, dude. And for anybody who's unfamiliar with that scene, it's a really funny scene. Go watch Hitch today. Um, you just need to know how to watch chat, read the Q&A, and watch the videos. And that's why, dude, look, honestly, that's why we do these new member webinars, man. It's not just to, you know, get new prospective clients. And that's not exactly what this is for. Bro, this is to help you guys. This is to give you structure. This is to, this is to say, look. You pay us monthly to help educate you. Well, look, dude, once a week, we're going to go out of our way to make sure you even know how to use the platform. You know that if you need to contact Cobra, that there's a freaking channel for it and that you can private message him right there. Boom. Open up a broker in 20 minutes. I, that, ain't, that ain't rocket science the last time I checked. I'm just saying. I was up till midnight last night and after hours pretty much daily. These furus get to, you know, yeah, dude, that's the other thing. The furus freaking get to the desk five minutes before the open, pump on the microphone. Seriously, if you're lazy, go there, chase and lose. But again, man, again, look, MIC is, is one, you know, 97 a month, right? Or it's, it's worth every penny. We are weeding out the people who don't want to put in work. The people who don't want to work pay $40 a month for a chat room. We don't want also, guys, dude. We want a community of the best traders. There's a question, it's a, or it's a, really a statement. I'm on the fence about joining. I've been trading for three years. Okay, cool. I understand that. But if you're on the fence about trading or joining, I have one question. 
are you a consistently profitable trader? If you are a consistently profitable trader, yeah, well, maybe not. Maybe Bro, do your thing. Here. Yeah, it, maybe if you, you don't need to be here. But if you are making money, do your thing. If you are inconsistent, there is no reason you shouldn't be an MIC. Yeah, why, why would you be on the fence no if you're not consistent? There's literally no reason. It, it, it doesn't make, dude, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, think about that. If you continue what you're doing that you've done for the last three years, you're not going to get anywhere. That's the point, bro. Yep. We, look, look, guys, we There's have all the kinds biggest of promotional market. opportunities to get in too. There's all kinds of promotional opportunities that come along to get in. There should be no reason why you shouldn't at least give it a shot for 30 days. Dude, at text me, sit him, man. I'm going to help days. you guys. Secret code, yeah, secret webinar him. code. Text him. I'm going to help you out today. I'm going to give you a discount on coming in on the annual and lifetimes. I'm going to hook you guys up. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. We give you all the resources. We give you 80%. You got to put in the damn 20%, man. I've been playing golf for 25 years, but this eight, but this eight year old is kicking my ass. The number of years you do something does not mean you're good at it. Just like, you know, the guy who's been trading for three years, but not seeing consistency. That's ego telling you, Oh, the market owes me something because I've been trading for three years. No dude. Bow says, because I never had formal golf lessons, the eight year old who has lessons every week is going to smoke his ass. And now is playing golf better than I ever will. The point is, is during those three years or two years or one year that you try to do it on your own, are you developing all these bad habits that every single day you trade the way that you're doing is going to keep like a muscle instilling all these bad habits when you can break that immediately by coming to MIC in educated room, three mentors, 15 plus moderators who do this for a living to teach you the right method. In this webinar, we show three methods that can change your entire career. Three, no bullshit. And if you got something from this webinar, think about what you get if you actually joined the club. Dude, Joe's video, his seven-hour accelerator course, is probably the most game-changer thing that's ever been invented in day trading. It is a seven-hour course that literally, when you watch from the beginning to the end, you will be confident placing your first trade. And if you're not, watch it one more time. The second time, you guarantee will. Dude, you will be guaranteed able to know how to place your first trade. I'm not saying you're going to be this badass freaking trader, but I know that you'll have the confidence to at least start pulling the trigger, whether it's paper, whether it's real, because we're going to show you the correct structure. No one can ever guarantee profits. No one can ever guarantee that you're going to be the next Alex. But what we can guarantee is that you are going to learn what works for hundreds, if not thousands of traders in our community. Bro, 100%. Dude. 100%. And here's the other thing, man. Anybody that is promising you money, like, dude, sign up for my service. You will turn $10,000 into 10 million. They're full of shit. No, you won't. No, you won't. Chances are you won't. 99% won't. There will be a random, there will be isn't a project. Isn't it illegal there to guarantee that anyway? like, What's that? I said, isn't it illegal to guarantee that anyway? Yeah, you can't, you can't guarantee profits. Even you can if guarantee there's like a, a disclaimer that says like, these results are only blah, 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 blah. Like you're guaranteeing like you will chain, you will turn da 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 into da 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 da. Like, I'm pretty sure that's illegal to begin with. You can't guarantee anything except what has already worked for hundreds of proven members. And that's a process. We can guarantee that you will learn a process. Whether you apply it and make money is on you. We 100%. give you the 80%, but guess what? You need to put in the hard stops. Yeah, bow. To watch the videos. I guarantee you will lose without education. <laughs> I guarantee you will lose without MIC. <laughs> but the point is, guys, there's no monetary no, guarantees true. on a on a, on at least an information level. Yes, yes, there is. You watch Joe Kelly's video, you will learn how to trade, but you still got to apply it, and you got to put the proper risk management in place, man. Yeah, uh, another another statement is I'm more interested in having a tab. I need someone to check me and keep me accountable. I couldn't agree more. That Shit, is a yeah, very, dude, are you kidding? After seven years, sometimes I still service. can't trade without my tab. Yeah, there's the a, world, that's a very attractive service about MIC. And, and I think that that's a big uh, point of interest for a lot of people. Uh, also, question was, did Bao have a mentor? Uh, I don't think... 
there was much of a mentor there. I think it was a lot of trial and error and failure <laughs> before succession. That was mentor was the market. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, dude, you guys got to understand, man. Dude, dude, it, Bao literally trial and aired for years before he came up with the three-day rule and stuff. You guys have to understand that. We're all making money because of Bao's decades put in. Bao, dude, Bao was chasing like we all started off. Dude, I chased yep. seven years ago. Every expert was once a beginner. Every pro was once an amateur. There was no, so, oh my God, there was no social media back then for Bao. That's crazy. Dude, the fact that Bao got it so quickly in a day where cell phones didn't exist, that's crazy. Ba Bao, got, Bao got alerts from his IRC room from a fax machine. <laughs> and it comes through on the... Because the moderator there is... It writes it out like Morse code. Stops, stops trading. Oh yeah, Bao was trading when it was still in fractions, dude. Seriously, do you guys know what that means? This would be, okay, so like if you wanted to short fun, dude, it would be like, okay, I'm shorting fun at two and three quarters, not decimal points of 275. Think, think about how long he's been trading, decimal points versus fractions. <laughs> Bao traded with Fred Flintstone back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, dude, seriously, it was a fax machine. A guy came to my apartment to show me a fax, but you're kidding, dude. Oh my God, that's hysterical. As I bought shares because I didn't know he was paid to promote, I got scammed. This is why we do not pump here. That's fucking crazy. I'm talking facts. Heck, time for a second podcast. Yeah, dude, Val's legacy, man. Look, we, we teach it every single day in price action. We teach about it in podcast, dude. It, Bao wants you guys to succeed, man. Like we cannot stress that enough. We really want you guys to be the next Alex, the next freaking Faye, the next sugar mama, the next Vic. The point is you got to put in some work, man. You got to put in some work, bro. But we're going to give you all the tools. We're going to give you all the structure. The monthly membership is wonderful, but the real structure and the real um, curriculum, the real focus comes with the annual and the lifetime. And that, and that's what, if you text me today, hard work, just, just text my line. We'll figure out something, but I'm going to be able to, uh, di discount the annual and lifetime membership guys. Guys, thanks so much. We got to end this here. We're just going to go on for three hours, but we love yeah. you guys, man. We're going to do this next week. Joe, you're awesome. Val, thank you so much for your wisdom again, as every week, uh, just text my line guys, screenshot this. If you need a uh, two, one, three, four, five, eight, five, nine, nine, seven. And we're going to take care of you, man. <laughs> He can rant for two hours, no problem. <laughs> you mean 24 more hours. Dude, Bao invented ranting. I remember back in the day, seven years ago, dude, I would literally, I would like count down the minutes until another Bao rant on, on Twitter. I'd be like, oh, please, dear God. Oh, dude, yeah, for real. I had, I had the subscription to the tweets, and, and, and when, the, when it would pop up, I'd be like, oh, yes, here it goes again. Here we go. I swear to God, dude, the, the, the best entertainment I've ever had in my life, outside of like an epic ass trilogy like Lord of the Rings, was Bow, was Bow Rants. <laughs> oh, oh my God, God, what happened to Sidham? Whoa! What just happened? Does oh Bow my have God, any shares what just left? happened? Bow, you got any share left? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Where are my shares? Oh Holy my God. shit! Is that an Did offer? What is this? Click news. Click that in next to your chart. Dude, what is this? Resumed trading. They just resumed uh, that low? Hang on. Wait. CDM entered in an agreement to purchase and sell 10.7 million shares. Oh, what? my God. Offering. It is. It is. You guys caught that live. Oh, bad. Right dude, I wish you had a fourth too. on still. Wow. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Dude, you cannot predict that. You never know when that's that is unbelievable. Well, now this play's ruined for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's that's over. That's over. And here's the thing, guys. That's two offerings in two days. Longs, be careful of this now. Be careful longing in this market now. That's two offerings in one day. <laughs> Trevor, did you catch it? <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> that's fucking sucks. I don't Trevor know what I'm more there. mad at. The fact that Bow didn't have a short in there for a cover at 112 that. or the fact that we're not going to have a play on this tomorrow. Trevor's like, read the main chat, bro. Just scroll up. 
bro. Trevor's like, I've been banking while you've been ranting. Yeah. Scroll up, bro. You did. I told you these webinars one that dies every time. <laughs> Oh my God. All right, guys, I got to leave you here, man. My head's going to explode. Holy shit. See, Bao, Bao cost himself a lot of money educating you guys today. <laughs> All right. See you, Joe. See you, Bao. Later, see you guys. Man. Have a good one. See you, man.